Hey, this is Dale Shanzi, and I'm here with Super Troy, one of the youngest paramotor pilots in the world, super skilled. And we are going over the 304 reasons why the flat top is the only unit to buy or to fly. Okay, we are on page nine. Hairpin gas tank bracket mounts for quick release of gas tank. Very, very cool. So flat top, very easy to pop the gas tank on and off. You just pull the hairpins and a Velcro and bam, off comes the tank. So it makes it really nice if you're gonna travel or a car or you're gonna put it somewhere, it's really easy to take the gas tank off. Or if you're flying with people who have other paramotors, since the flat top's so efficient, uh, very commonly they'll run out of gas first. And so it's kind of nice because you can land, take your tank off, refuel them, and then keep on flying and extend the range of both of you. So it's kind of nice to be able to take that gas tank off real easy. Okay, gas tank bracket Velcros at base of tank to prevent from pushing into prop. Okay, so the bottom is Velcroed on securely, so that tank is not going to go anywhere. So it makes it very stable and stiff, but also gives it the strength. And then Delrin spacer under the Velcro holds the gas tank distance from the prop. So underneath this Velcro, there's a piece of Delrin that's machined to the radius of the back tube so that even if you bash the tank, you can't flex it back into the propeller. So it's extremely strong and it has that offset to kind of hold it out there. Very important. Okay, gas cap and pickup mounted high and to the rear, so they are the highest point on the tank. When the motor is leaned forward on comfort bars for travel to prevent leaks. So check this out. Notice where the gas cap is and boom, you lean it forwards. Well, now your gas cap is the highest point on the gas cap, on, on the unit. So notice all the gas is at the bottom. So your fuel pickup line and your gas cap are the highest point on the tank when you lean the unit forward. So if you transport it in a truck or something, you can pick it up. So if you transport it in a truck or something, it really helps, you know, just to ensure, even if there were any leaks or anything like that in the tank, that you've got that gas cap on the top. And so that makes a big difference. And of course your fuel pickup. So everything is, oh, you found, oh man. Yeah, I was wondering where there. those were. That's awesome. The, uh, oh dude, yeah. Thrive Life Snackies. This is freeze dried pineapple. This is the best stuff ever on the planet. Here, let's just open yours. All right. Open it, give me some. Okay. Dude, freeze dried pineapple is, it's the ultimate like freeze-dried strawberries, those are awesome. Freeze-dried peaches, but dude, freeze-dried pineapple, mm. it's like purified pineapple. And the only thing in it is pineapple. It's awesome. Freeze-dried pineapple. Ingredients. Okay. Pineapple. Those are awesome. <laughs> I can't believe they're in the paramour. No, it's cool. Okay. You gotta try some of these. Thrive Life. Snackies, freeze-dried pie. Actually, these are so good. I'm gonna put a link in the video because those are awesome. You know, when you find something that's awesome, you wanna share because it's cool. Like the flat top. We have to share because it's awesome. And I don't want you to chop your hands off or get seriously injured on another unit when the flat top can help save and prevent that. And you even got your bag to carry them in so you can eat them while flying. Comfort bar bags, very, very handy. Yeah, that's not even one of the 304. So there's 305. Yeah. But. <laughs> Okay, one-way brass valve prevents leaks, gas leaks, if the unit was tipped or flipped over. So, the reason a lot of the other units, when you lean over or if you tip it over, the reason they dump gas all over you is because they have a, a breather hose. So most units are just using a breather hose or like the Fresh Breeze has literally a, a hole in the gas tank. So if you lean it over, it literally will dump gas like down the back of your neck, which is like insane. You know, years and years ago before we fixed all these problems on the flat top, but none of these things have been fixed on other units. I mean, you tip over and it starts dumping gas down the back of your shirt. Like, hello, and you can't fix that 30 years later, they're still selling the same units. So anyway, one-way brass valve prevents the leaks. It allows air into the tank as you're sucking fuel out, 
but it doesn't allow fuel to spill out if you tip it or fall down or something like that or if you're traveling in your vehicle. Also, there's a video where I uh, was setting a world record and like messed up and hit the water and I went in the water and then you could see we pulled the unit out, we dumped the water out and we fired it right back up. It's a sealed system. So no water got into the gas tank. So even though it was submerged under water, we pulled it out, ran the same gas, same everything, worked perfectly. So very nice to have that set up. Okay, only one hose hole in tank for minimum leaks. That is another thing you will find a lot of the tanks, they got like holes all over the place for this, that, and the other thing. And the more holes they have in the tank, the more odds you have that it's gonna leak. So very nice, you got one hole that has the fuel pickup, you got the one-way valve, and you got a gas cap. So you have the fewest amount of holes in that tank. These are awesome. <laughs> Freeze-dried pineapple. Dude, you gotta get some. That's like the coolest thing you will ever eat. It's okay. a healthy candy. A healthy candy. Yeah, the ingredients, pineapple. That's it, nothing else. Pineapple, freeze-dried. Okay, see-through gas tank for easy checking of fuel level. This is another issue a lot of people have with other paramotors is just trying to see how much gas they have in the gas tank. Well, the flat top, as you can see, has the tank that it's a white kind of opaque see-through. So you can literally physically see the level in the gas tank. You just look right down past your hips, at the gas tank, bingo. So you lean left and then you look down to the right at your gas tank and you can literally see the fuel level. Awesome, and there's a brass weight on the fuel pickup hose for minimal usable, for maximum usable fuel or whatever. Or, oh, minimum unusable fuel. So that is kind of another thing. You have a brass uh, pickup valve that gives weight to the bottom of the fuel pickup hose so that if you tilt it left or right or you're leaning forward, the hose tilts with it so you're always picking up from the bottom of the gas. So when you're out of gas on a flat top, you've used pretty much all of the gas in your tank. Where if you don't have that, a lot of them, they'll run out of gas and you still have two inches left. So you're just using making the most of what you have so that you, uh, you're not carrying extra weight for no good reason. And another one of those reasons it's so light, even a 12 year old can launch it no problem. 12 years old, flat top ninja. So there you go, very, very lightweight. Um, gas tank tilted forwards to create low point for minimum fuel used. So again, the angle that the tank is put on is set up to keep where all the gas collects in that bottom so that you can pick up as much of the fuel as possible so that you're not wasting fuel in the tank. So you can get the longest possible range without having to have wasted fuel on that fuel pickup. Um, fuel tank well below engine head for easy refueling or removal of spark plug. Here's another one of those things you just might not think of before you buy a unit because you don't exactly take a spark plug out of the unit before you buy it. But some of the engines like the Simonini, if you mount it head down and your gas tank is up here, you can't even take out the spark plug. The spark plug will literally hit the gas tank. So on those units, you have to physically remove the gas tank in order to take the dang spark plug out. So you have to be careful if you get a smaller unit with the head situated at the gas tank. That was literally a problem. I mean, it's something you would think is so stupid, nobody ever would set it up that way. But that literally, we had to fix that from the other generation. Of course, they've never fixed the problem. 30 years later, they're still selling the exact same units with the exact same stupid problem where you have to take the dang gas tank off just to get your spark plug out. So anyway, we leave it where you can get at things. And since it's not a flat top, then it's a pain to get your gas tank off. Yeah, that's true. A lot of the units are, they're much harder to get the tank off, which is, and it's toolless, so you can do it, you know, in the field, on the fly, if you land somewhere. We've actually done that quite a few times, where even if you're flying with all flat tops, if one guy's heavier, he's burning more gas, like one guy runs out of gas before the other guys, 
So you can push it a little bit, and if he gets low on gas, you can land. And like Troy, who's super light, burns the least gas, you can really quickly take his tank off and fill up the other guy so that you kind of manage to have the longest possible flight or to gas somebody up if you're running out of gas. Okay, quick disconnect in the fuel line. So fuel line gas tank completely sealed when gas tank is removed. Okay, so the, tank, the gas tube is very easy to pop off. Again, making it quick release so you can just pop the thing off. So it's not like bolted on there or locked on there in a way that you can't get it off. You have the hose that is the perfect size and the right type of hose. So when you push it on there, it stays on there and you don't have a leak but it's not locked on with something that you would have to get a screwdriver and try and undo it. So you don't need any uh, tools to take your gas tank off. Very valuable, easy to remove. Easily remove a gas tank for shipping, transport, cleaning, maintenance. So yeah, you can easily pop the gas tank off. If you're gonna ship it, you need to be able to get all the gas out of it. And so you pop it off, do that, or you know, for transport, if you're putting the the unit in your car and you don't want the gas fumes, it's really quick and easy. Take your gas tank off, put the gas tank in the trunk, and then you don't have the gas fumes in your car uh, or for cleaning and for maintenance. Uh, quick and go. Dude, these are awesome. Freeze dry. Dude, look at the link. I'm gonna put the link in there. Buy some. Like if you don't know what to get your yourself for a Christmas present or for a birthday present. Those are the best ever. You'll thank me later. Plus, if they didn't taste good, then a kid wouldn't be eating them. <laughs> yeah, it's that good, literally. It did save some for me. There's a little bit. <laughs> like, there's like five left. You like ate them all. Holy cow, I'm saving that bag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Quick rid of the meal line, easy discount. Okay, we got it. All right, and that is page nine of the 304 reasons that the flat top is the only unit to buy or to fly. Literally, there's no way I'm gonna put my kids on a unit where if he tips over or trips and falls down, he can chop his hand off or have his face smashed into the ground. You don't put people you love on units like Scout or Fly Products or Blackhawk or Mini Plane or Air Conception that vibrates so bad, it's like your eyeballs literally rattle and you can't even focus your eyes. There's so much crap out there. You have to really look at the specifics. Forget opinions, opinions are worthless. Look at actual facts, reality, logic, reason, you know, and specifics that are measurable. And then you'll really have a full understanding of why the flat top is so incredible and makes such a huge difference. It's not a small difference. So, okay, we'll see you next time for page 10.